Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Cooler Master Mobius 120 OC fan. I did receive this product from Cooler Master, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. You'll notice that we can actually open up this door and window right there and we're able to see the fan and learn more about it. Couple quick tech specs. What makes this fan unique is we have three different different modes that we can adjust. We have an extreme performance mode, a performance mode, and a silent cooling mode. They walk you through the switch right there and its unique features. Couple of quick tech specs for you. This fan is rated to last over 200,000 hours, five year warranty. Our speeds up to 3,200 RPMs, give or take 10%. Lastly, I wanna point out that this does have your four pin connector. They also go through some cool information on the double ball bearing design, our metal motor hub, and the anti-vibration rubber mounts. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Looking for a secure and reliable way to access the internet? Look no further than ExpressVPN. Protect your personal information and browsing history from prying eyes. Act now and sign up for ExpressVPN today using our link in the description and receive an extra three months of service for free. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our hardware kit followed by the fan itself. Take a look at this fan. Maybe you'll notice too, it's actually blue. So we have a black circle right there, but then everything else is blue. The fan blades are blue. Pretty cool, definitely unique. You can notice it more in person, especially if you're looking at something else that's black. But take a look at this fan, everything looks great. We got the Cooler Master logo and branding on the sides right there. Here's a quick peek at the backside, Mobius 120 OC. So zero to 1500 RPMs, zero to 2400 RPMs, and zero to 3200 RPMs. And we have a little built-in switch right here on the cable, might be hard to see. But right there at the top, we have this little switch and we have three different circles. So the circles get larger, smaller on this side, larger up there. So that's how you're gonna to toggle between the different fan speed settings. And we have our four pin connector there. It is a black braided cable. And again, 120 millimeters. Definitely a good looking fan, really cool. I'm enjoying the color here with the gold accent in the middle with our bearing. Now let's go ahead and try it out. All right, our PC has been built. I went ahead, I snuck that fan up on the top right here so we could try it out. Let's go ahead and look at it up close. So as we enter into the build, you'll notice we have the fan up and running here at the top and it is noticeable. I can hear that fan spinning and moving. Unlike any of the other fans in this case, I can attribute the noise right back to our guy right up there. So let's go ahead, let's toggle through the different fan speed settings and hear and listen in to how everything sounds. So on the back of our case, we have our fan cable coming through right here and we have our control panel, our little toggle switch on here to adjust the RPM value. So this is the lowest fan speed setting that we're currently in. Keep in mind, my only observation with this particular fan is this cable is not very long. So hopefully you can reach this wherever it's at or during your installation process, you might wanna make sure you have it configured to the setting that you want or to pick up some extensions as needed because again, it's not very long depending on where your hub is or if you're going straight into the motherboard. Just a couple things to consider right there. But this is the lowest RPM setting. Peeking at it up through the top, maybe you can see in there the fan is spinning, so let's go in and give it a listen. Here's how you can expect it to sound on the lowest RPM setting right here. That's gonna be your raw audio. And with all the other fans in this case, I can't hear any of them, but I can hear this fan. Now let's turn it up. Here's that middle setting, raw audio to hear the fan noise. And now let's give this baby full power. Here's the maximum RPM fan noise. So even at its peak RPMs, you'll see that we're only getting 42.8 decibels. So it's still very quiet considering the performance that you're getting out of a fan like this to help with your cooling. So I think for most people, depending on your case and location, maybe you have it 
in the center here with your air cooler, things like that. Maybe you have some good insulation, your panels all on, all of that good stuff. I wouldn't expect most of you to be able to hear it unless you're within, you know, an air shot of it. If it's gonna be on your desk like this and you're standing right here, well, of course you're gonna be able to hear it, but hopefully tucked away under your desk with any background noise, your air conditioner, your heating, your cooling, just any environment that you're in. I don't think you'll be able to pick it up too much, but just want to let you guys know it's fairly quiet for how fast it's moving and the amount of air that is flowing here. Overall, no complaints with it. Besides, I wish it did have some RGB because I mean, I love the look of RGB with PC builds. The blue color is cool, but with that being said, I wish they made more blue accessories to match it. So depending again on the aesthetic of your build, it might be a mismatch for you, or you gotta change out all your fans to match it. So unique color choice, not my top choice, but again, that's really up to you to decide what you like.